Hold on, hold on. My, my, my fingers over the camera. Is this the part where I reveal myself? Ta-da! Oh, I forgot that entry part where you, you know, you, you make yourself look like a clown, or you get some Sharpie, right? You take, you take, you take that, oh, oh. It's hot. Shut up. You take that, you give yourself a little mustache, you know, maybe you, oh, no. Let's go green, give myself a mustache, or you know what, maybe I'll get the green shave gel out of my bathroom, put it in my hair, so that we don't judge a book by its cover. What the fuck is this? <laughs> This thing is fantastic. I, whatever positive message that this don't judge body challenge thing started out thinking it had. And I'm saying it like that because I got to tell you something. You may, you may not be able to tell by looking at me. You know, I got the tight shirt. I got the nice watch. I got a little bit of armor. I got the face. Ears are big. I got the, I got some damn good hair, though. You might not be able to tell. I have some pretty serious body image issues. Let me tell you what doesn't help me with that. Really attractive people making themselves look like clowns and then popping the camera and looking really attractive. Uh-uh. That doesn't help anything. <laughs> that's all it is or at least that's all it's become it's just this game of one-upsmanship uh, oh man did you see Bobby oh. <laughs> nobody with that accent knows how to use technology <laughs> god damn <laughs> did you see Bobby did you see his challenge video he had a red mustache. I didn't even do that. It was real hair on his face. It was a red mustache. And he had green. I think he was trying to be the Joker, but then he popped the camera. He just popped the camera. And he looked like fucking Brad Pitt. Bang Channing Tatum. And then that child decided to bang. I do love long hair Matt Damon. Long hair Matt Damon. And then that child decided to bang. <sighs> Who is that one guy? I'm just. Not George Clooney. Uh, some, look for someone younger. Look for someone younger. Love you, George Clooney. Look for someone younger. Oh, shoot. What was his name? Oh, I forgot his name. Ian Summerholder. There we go. Although he's like 30s, right? I don't know. The guy who played. Damien Vampire Diaries. <laughs> we gotta one up that. All right, what can we use here? Um, I got some spray paint. Maybe I could give myself like a little, like big old blushy cheeks, you know? <laughs> and then I'll bop the camera and I'll look awesome. I switch back to the redneck accent. I don't get it. I don't get where my cat doesn't get it either. Where was the positive message supposed to be coming from in the first place? I don't my glasses are reflecting off my There's my challenge. Hold on, hold on. I figured out my challenge. Music in the background. Music in the background. I'm gonna rub something on my face and pop it. Ta-da! God damn. I don't, look, if someone can put in the comments and explain to me, hey, David, there's the positive message. That's what everyone's going for with this. Please do it. If I'm wrong, tell me, educate me. I'll admit it. Cat, do you, don't you dare get on my desk. Don't you? You're going to ruin my whole thing of never editing a video. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. <laughs> Explain to me where the ultra body positivity message is and people making themselves not only look conventionally unattractive, but look cartoony in what they're doing to themselves. And then pop the camera and gorgeous. If you can explain where that body positivity message is coming from please educate me i want to because right now it is just this 
hilarious game of people seeing how ridiculous they can look and then this surprise M. Night Shyamalan twist of, oh, they're super conventionally attractive. Nice. <laughs> this is one of the funniest. And maybe I shouldn't be laughing because body image is a real issue. P po positive body image is great. People, we, we, we need more messages of body positivity. This is not one of them. Or at least I haven't seen the video yet. And I'll be honest, I've watched a lot of them. They just get funnier and funnier. I haven't seen the video yet that goes, you know what, yeah, yeah. I feel great about my body now. Don't judge me by my cover. <laughs> now there's this reverse body challenge. I'm, or don't judge, whatever. That I'm kind of liking. I've only seen one of it, but I liked it. It was this girl. She, her hair was just flawless, makeup on point, lipstick was perfect. Then she popped the camera, and it looks like she just got out of the shower, just woke up. Her hair's, you know, the makeup's off and everything, but she's still smiling and she's happy. I like that. That's this, you know, I got really, I got myself looking nice. You know, I'm a, I did my hair. I did my hair. I did my hair. Look at my hair. It's nice. I know. I know. You know, I, I shaved or, you know, I put on some really nice lipstick, whatever it is. But when you take all that off, I'm still the same person. I'm still me. And I'm still a gorgeous person. I like that message. That's a cool message. That's not what this is. This is people making themselves look like they're coloring in their teeth. <laughs> what are they even using for that? What do you do? Is that? Is this? Is that what you do? I don't think, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, at least the Expo brand is non-toxic. If you're using a Sharpie, you might be a little fucked. God damn it. The Charlie, Charlie, Charlie challenge was one thing because that was just one of those stupid little fun little urban legend kind of things. Like when the kids look in the mirror and, and, and say, you know, witchy Sally, witchy Sally, witchy Sally. She's going to come kill us. Ah! That was different. This is just started out from what I can tell. Who loves me? Love you too, Logan. This started out from what I can tell as a well-intentioned but slightly misguided attempt at body positivity. You know, don't judge a book by their cover because I may look like this now, but if I bought the camera and afterwards, I look like every single checklist on what is conventionally attractive. You know, maybe you shouldn't have judged me when you saw me on my off day. Not really the best message, but you tried. I'll give you that. Now it's just... Ah, sexy. <laughs> so there's my challenge. There's my don't judge challenge. My don't judge challenge is to either do the reverse. To, to you know, do the thing, whatever your thing is, where you feel just handsome as hell. For me, for me, or beautiful or sexy, whatever the, for me, it's taking my, it's taking my trimmer. I don't shave, I trim. Trim two days before I have to do something. If I've got a date, if I'm hanging out with my friends, if, if I got something planned and I want to look nice, two days before, trim. Get that little five o'clock shadow growth because you know, my facial hair grows kind of slow. Hair, pew, pew. red kin forming paste. Make it look beautiful. Woo. Get a little, get a little pluck there. What can I say? I like looking good. Nice muscle shirt. You know, I got, I got my watch. I love my watch. And then pop the camera. And then, you know, wear your oversized lazy shirt and, you know, maybe don't shave for a couple days or don't bother with the makeup. Let your hair go. Oh, crazy. You know, this stuff is so good. It won't let my hair go crazy. Good job, Red Kin. That's something. Because it's like, hey, don't judge me by how I look when I look good or when I look bad because I'm smiling the whole time because I'm confident in myself and you should be confident in yourself too because you're beautiful and you're awesome and who cares what other people think. I know you kind of do, but if you think you're beautiful, you are beautiful. 
whether you're dolled up or whether you just rolled out of bed or you just got out of the shower, you just got home from the gym or you're just about to go out on a date, if you think you're beautiful, you are beautiful. That's a good message. Do that. Or keep going with this ridiculous clown into sexy challenge. That's what it is. It is how fucked up can I make myself look? Because this isn't what... I got a spoiler for you. There aren't people who go around with Sharpie all over their face and filled in Sharpie teeth. It's not... This is not a don't judge challenge. This is a I challenge you to get yourself looking more ridiculous than me. And then to butt the camera and look more conventionally, conventionally attractive than me. That's all this is now. Do the reverse. Or just make a habit in your daily life of, of your friends and family and, and everybody just always putting out encouragement to people. But if you really want to participate in one of these kind of challenges things, do the reverse. Get yourself looking your damn best in your eyes and then bop your camera and then look like you just rolled out of bed with exuding all the confidence in the world of, you know what, I look damn good whether I tried or whether I rolled out of bed. You woke up like this, Beyonce. <laughs> I can't. Leave it in the comments. If you can explain to me where the body positive image is, where the body positive, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> That's the other thing. Don't judge by the cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. Look how crazy this book is. Pop the camera. Now look at the cover. Don't judge by the cover because look at this cover. Don't judge by the silly cover I had before I bought the camera. Look at this awesome cover. Judge me.